People have been using the stars to navigate for hundreds of years. Originally, it was the only means of, of navigation. It's basically using the uh, celestial bodies as your map. You know, if you're out on a dark ocean somewhere and all your instruments, your electronic means of navigation have gone, it can be a huge help when you need it. We trust the electronic means more than our own um, ways of doing things in that we forget that computer software was developed by humans and it's, it's fallible. If we're looking at our GPS and our GPS tells us to walk 10 blocks one way, we do it because we trust it better than if we looked at the sun and we could tell the sun's setting at a different place and west is that way and we're trying to go west, and, but we trust our electronic means. What this new requirement is moving towards is not necessarily to teach all these officers how to use celestial navigation, but it is to help them recognize when they're leading a ship, to help them recognize the importance of celestial navigation. That they know what it is, what it can be used for, and to support their navigation team. The course is um, 13 videos. The online course is designed to be um, concise to the point that you might have to rewind and watch the videos again and again to, to where it's making sense to you. The ROTC is using this to supplement their requirement for celestial navigation education. It is being taught in their Intro to Navigation class their sophomore year. They have 160 units. I'm going to say it's 2,400 um, students will be using it uh, each year. I mean, we have many page views and, and downloads and things, but the people that have given their email addresses to register to take the class, it's in the thousands. And one of the biggest comments I get is, I cannot believe something of this caliber is open and available. It's one of the best straightforward approaches.